Kathy Francis, Hannah at the Doodle Bug, and Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our daily What's New at the Doodle Bug. So today what I've got for you is we got in our paintbrush hoarder. Finally. Oh my gosh. I know. I've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it. I've been posting teasers now for, I don't know, what, two, three weeks. So this first order, I'm not going to lie, most of it is already snagged up, but we do have more coming in right behind it. So I wanted to show it to you. That way, if you see stuff that you love, I have time to get another order going to get even more paint fresh in. Um, and I think you're going to love, love this one. So things that are going to be super hot in this one is the Celebrate and also the Rosettes. You know, the rosettes are so stinking cool. Now, I have not had time to play with these at all. Okay, let's be honest. I never have time to play with anything. But sometimes if it's really, really good, I want to show you. Uh, but Leslie literally just got this checked in a little bit ago. Um, I'm like, we got to have something new to show them. And even though most of this is spoken for, I still wanted to show it all to you. Um, what we are working on today, though, so she is working on Coco Vanilla. Getting that checked in. I'm so excited. It's my very, very first order with them, and I cannot wait. The colors are so bright, so beautiful, and it is a line that I've been wanting to bring in for quite a while now. Um, just, just haven't done it. Um, it's one you have to import in from Australia, so there's, you know, some technicalities to go with it. But anyway, it is here. Cannot wait, and I hope it goes over really well so we can continue that relationship with them. Um, next. What else I worked on is if you, sorry, I got some notifications. We got a ball game tonight. So, um, so moms are texting me. Um, anyway, I worked on the Glimmer Live kits. And after this live, okay, I'm going to cut the stream and then I'm going to come back on live again. And I want to take you through the Glimmer Live bundles so you can check those out. Um, all of ours went out the door, so if you ordered a, um, a Glimmer Live bundle, um, and it was you're not doing it in here with me, yours went out the door. And I will say that when we ship and have to collect shipping on things, um, it usually takes a while. You girls that signed up for this Glimmer class, you rocked it. We started shipping them yesterday, and Everyone who I sent shipping invoices to got it paid by early this morning. And then everyone today paid already too. So kudos to all of you. Usually we're like hunting you down and reminding, please pay your for your shipping so we can get it out the door for you. But um, these girls are super, super excited about this Glimmer Live class. I know I am as well. We are doing it in the store too. But I will tell you all about that in the next video. This one here, we're going to look at Paintbrush, and I do have one one thing in from Ranger that I want to show you as well, too. So I think we're going to start with that one. On the Paintbrush. So some of you may or may not know, um, Tim Holtz and Ranger re-released some of his distress paints. They brought them out of the vault. Um, they were discontinued, but I guess maybe his paints are picking up a little bit of steam, popularity. So they came back out and re-released a bunch of his paint colors. When they did that, they also released this really cool little multi-storage tin. In this tin, you have got two different inserts, okay? And the inserts then allow you to hold different items. You can do 24 Distress Free Inkers, 20 Distress Paints, or 20 Distress Mini Sprays. Here are the little inserts. And I wanted to pull just some different stuff from around the store and show you. So first of all, if it will hold Distress Free Inkers, that means it's also going to hold alcohol inks and stickles because those bottles have the same little footprints on them on the bottom. So if you just love this tin, now it's going to be a little taller than what you may need for stickles, but they're still going to work in there. And you can see how it closes like this. It does have a nice see-through top up there, and then it opens. All right, so if it's going to do re-inkers, it will also do alcohol inks and stickles, um, which also means it's going to do their smaller bottles of um, glues, anything in this smaller little footprint. Now, 
it said 20 distress paints or 20 distress mini sprays. This is one of the mini sprays. These are one of the ones that come in those little three packs that he does around the holidays. Uh, this one here was part of the, uh, we still have one more set of these. So I'm going to plug this one too. Yay. Someone get this off my shelf. This one here is the, oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it's got fortune teller, wicked elixir, and decayed. Um, they had different names, like Halloween 4, Halloween 3. I don't remember which number it is, but these are the mini sprays. So here is the mini, to spray, mini sprays in there. So they fit in nicely. But then I was like, well, what else is this same size? So I pulled some Nuvos. You got to push them down a little bit, but honestly, the Distress Spray, you have to push in there a little bit as well, too. So the Nuvos are fitting in there. Then I was just like, well, what about Dina's paints? I've got a couple of Dina's paints in there to where those would fit in there too. Um, I wish I had more of hers on the shelf so I could see, you know, how, how they do in huge layers. But see, there I've got two Dina paints and a Nuvo, and they're doing just fine. Um, and then I even just pulled, well, I've got one of these, um, from Prima. And I was like, well, let's see how those fit because they're about the same size and those fit in there beautifully as well. So all kinds of things other than what is on the packaging are going to fit in here for you. So fun, fun, fun. I love finding ways to use something um, because maybe you don't have, what is it, 20 Maybe you don't have 20 mini sprays, but you've got other stuff. So you could put all kinds of other things in here as well. So that is the new multi-storage tin from uh, Ranger and Tim Holtz. So those just came in today. And then let's check out Pink Fresh. We've got a whole basket full of fun stuff. Now, these are not spoken for. This, just look at the packaging, first of all. I am a sucker for packaging, and if you are a sucker for packaging that you like to repurpose, how fun is this going to be to repurpose and do some fun things with? But what is in here? So they came out with, make sure I got it empty, they came out with their own little, like, jewel pick, jewel picker up, or whatever you want to call it, um, and it's just, it's very exquisite. Um, it. It feels nice. It's weighted really nice on both ends. It's got some little bling in there because, you know, what girl doesn't and what, you know, who doesn't like a little bling? So one tip here is a nice little mover tip. It's got a real fine little stylus point. So it's going to help you to move things exactly where you want them. And then the other side, a little sneak peek here. I think you know it's going to be on the other side. On the other side is your little wax tip. So this wax tip, you're going to be able to pick up your little gems, your rhinestones, um, your sequins. So you can pick it up, place it on your project where you want it, okay? And if you like, oh, I don't quite like it there, that's when you use the other tip and you move it just ever so slightly into place. So those are brand new from Pink Fresh, you do get, as you can see, you get three tips total, so you also get refills with it. Um, and I want you to be aware of that because most companies sell theirs for around $10 and they don't have refills. This is 16, but you're getting refills. So whenever you see that price and you're kind of like, oh, I wonder why it's so much more expensive. Well, one, it's metal. Um, it is a little nicer, you know, quality and how it is made, but you're also getting two refill tips with it as well. Um, those fun little quick, quick sticks that I showed you yesterday, these right here, oh, look at me, I'm like, these are like nine, nine bucks, all right? You don't get a refill, and, and really, I mean, which one's prettier? You know, some sometimes it just comes down to things that are pretty and make you feel good, so... There is that right there. All right, moving the quick sticks over. And, oh, I've already got a taker for one of these. So, Debbie, one is yours. That means, my friends, we have two more up for grabs before we start on the reorder. Okay? All right, so I'm going to put 
sorry, you just see my hand there. I want to put her tips back away so I don't lose them in the shuffle back here. But look at how pretty the box is. I just like the box. That's going to be fun. That's a fun little box right there. Okay. All right. So one of those is spoken for. Next up. So this is a fun little wrap around elements. Um, so I'm going to pop it down a little bit. Kind of similar to how Spellbinders did their twine die, but you've got fun little borders. You've got kind of this little sideways stitch, and you've got this really fun fringe edge. I love that little fringe edge. How neat is that going to be? Think about this. I mean, card, layout, whatever. I'm going to hold like this. And, you know, layered up. So, you know, maybe if it is a card, you could do, you know, pink, purple, aqua, white, whatever, kind of roll up the ends a little bit, you know, just create kind of a little waterfall effect with those. This is called Wrap Around Elements. And I'm going to turn it over to the back so you can kind of see those. There is that cute little bow included as a separate piece. So again, I often like to remind you things that you can use your dies on, on other projects as, you know, standalone so that bow can definitely be used on lots of different projects but look how cute it is on there making it look like a real twine like that so there is that one right there next up ooh, looks like we got rosettes next look at this this makes me excited friends i always tell you you know if i could order like six or eight of something i get excited so look at my stack of rosettes and i I think they're already spoken for. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That makes my heart so happy. Um, all right, so rosettes, I'm gonna kind of show you here. They are just a standalone die, as is. Yes, you can use them like this, cut them out of white paper, you could ink them, you can cut them out of cardstock. I saw a lot of layouts and cards where they were cutting these out of cardstock, okay? With these rosettes, you do not need to, like, you know, you can fold them a little bit if you want to, okay? And because they've got little stitched, pierced edges there, so you can kind of give them a little, you know, oomph if you want. But even cooler yet, these guys have a stencil that matches. And notice how that stencil, I'm going to take it so you can see half, and then right there. It gives it the look of the shadowing. So it is so, so neat. You got it, Miss Jean. I've got yours, your wraparound elements. Perfect. And I know, Jean, I've got um, some goodies for you because you're one of my Glimmer class girls. I'm assuming you want, want us to just keep everything here until class. All right, so look. See how one goes one way? And this one goes the other way. So it does that kind of shadow. I know when I line them up, you don't see anything. But so it'll do that shadow. Um, so you can do light blue, dark blue. And it's going to create all that shadowing on your rosettes. I am so excited about these. I posted all kinds of ideas and teasers on these rosettes. Um, they were used on cards. They were used on scrapbook pages. So many, so many, so many cool things. All right. Sorry, still got moms texting about the game. I'm trying not to read them. But if you ask for the rosettes, just know that we're going to get those pulled. And we will get those held for you, shipped out for you, whatever we are doing with your pink fresh order. And then if you are loving the rosettes, please let me know in the video. So then I can look at what's coming and add more to a future order if we don't have enough coming in for you. So that is the rosettes. All right. Moving my stuff out of the way here. Next up, got a little stack here, just in case they're not in the order here. This one is a fun new one. And I am honestly hoping that they add to this one to get more bang for our buck out of this one. All right. So this guy here, nope, nope. I'm still looking for its stamp. Maybe. All right. I think this is one that did not ship in its entirety yet. So this one here, which makes me really sad. 
Yep, it's not in there. Okay, so bummer. Womp womp. All right, so this one here, these are fun little, they're called basic banners. All right, so you can see, yep, just basic banners. But there is a whole set of fun stamps um, that's called Basic Banners Celebrate. And see how it's got Basic Banners and then Celebrate. They're not going to do that unless they plan to do other ones, right? I mean, at least that's what I'm thinking. So there's also a stamp set on the way, and it's going to have Celebrating You. There's no such thing as Too Much Happy. Get Ready to Party. It's Time to Throw Confetti. Um, happy, Happy Birthday. Best Wishes. Happy you day. Hooray. Congratulations. Celebrate. Cheers to you and treat yourself. And then you can see here they are kind of in the banners. So it's very, very fun with those. I'm looking here and I'm looking. It looks to me too, whenever you stamp this stamp down, notice one, two, three, four down. We've got a swooshy one and five down. We've got an arch one. So when we go one, two, three, four, I'm one, two, three. I'm wondering if maybe the way they stamp, they might also fit in. I won't know that's we play with them, um, but I'm thinking that's probably how it's going to work. Yeah, I think so, friends. I think whenever you stamp this, you're going to die cut it all at the same time. Stamp it, die cut it, and they're all going to fit in there just perfect. I really think so without having them lined up side by side, but it looks, I mean, because it's a coordinating one. So I bet you're going to stamp once, cut them all out at once. Uh, you would like more? Yes, you got it, Marilyn, and you got it too, Becky. Um, and I will look and see how many extra we have as well. Um, we may, I kept, as people were ordering, I kept bumping up the initial order. But yes, we will get both of you down for banners and stamps. Thank you. Got it. Check. All right, next up, this is a fun one. And Becky, you're watching. I know you are one of my pre-order girls for this one here. It is so, so stinking fun. All right, so this one is a four-piece set, okay? Four pieces we're going to look at here. Get all my stamps. All right. So this one here is a stamp, stencil, die, and foil plate. Here is the, the stamp. It's called Sw All right. Hopefully we're still there. I just had a, I just had a call. Come in. No, do not answer. Sorry, my, and then my Siri guy is talking in my ears, trying to answer the phone call. So, so sorry. So this little guy here is called Sweet Day. You've got this fun little cupcake on there. You've got this cake with a banner. And then we've got birthday wishes, which birthday wishes, check that out, fits in the banner. I know, seriously, get out. How cute is that going to be? So that's going to fit in the banner. We've got sprinkles we can put on top of the cupcake. Enjoy your day and hope your day is sweet. So there is the stamp. I'm going to flip it over so you can kind of see there it is colored in. So then to color it in, yes, you can always use your Copics, your colored pencils, but why not just use the stencil? That makes it so much easier. So your stencil, you've got, let's open this one up. There are, and then while I'm opening that up, I'm going to show you the die that goes with it as well. It's going to cut all those pieces out for you. And then we also have the foiling plate as well, too. All right, so it looks like we've got icing and cupcake icing. We have the paper for the cupcake. We've got that little bitty flag. We've got, looks like this. Let me do it this side by side here for you. We've got that part there. I'm just trying to see if it does sprinkles and everything. Oh, look, there's that inside layer of the cake. How cute is that? Here is the shadowing on the icing, shadowing on your cupcake liner. Here is your pennant. And then here is your icing right there. A little more over there. Ah, the sprinkles are even in there. So that's what I was looking for. But oh my gosh, look at all the detail that goes into these. So this does that little bitty line of cake right there. 
Then we've got the little sticks and more cake there. Next up, oh, look, we've even got Pink Fresh watching us. Watching us. It's like, like a celebrity watching us, guys. All right, our next layer, as you can see here, and we've got little sprinkles. That's what I wanted to see, if those sprinkles were in there, and they are. Then we've even got a layer that's going to do the icing around the top. And then finally, little details on the icing, too. I mean, every single thing. So, you know, like we did our COVID classes this past weekend, and they were so much fun. And we did, we spent a lot of time talking about shadowing and shading and where the light comes in and all that stuff. But with these little stencils, all that guesswork is taken out for you. So you've got all that in there. Um, that was six layers in your stencil. So like I said, it has all your layers in there, including your sprinkles. So we've got here, we've got stamps, we've got dies, we've got stencils, and we have the foil plate as well too. All right, so we've got that. So you can see the foil plate. It's gonna give you that nice little outlined edge. That would be really pretty, um, like a holographic or gold. I love the gold ones. I love foiling things in gold. All right, so we're gonna move Sweetest Day to the side. Next up then in the basket, we have ribbons and balloons. All right, so ribbons and balloons. Pull that out, pull that out, and we should have some other stuff in here too. Yep, here we go. So ribbons and balloons. This is going to be a stamp and stencil and die combination as well. So we're gonna start off with your stamp. You've got these awesome little balloons. Here are the little strings for the balloons. And then you've got verbiage. Congrats, it's a celebration, and have the best birthday. All right, you want stamp, die, stencil. Perfect for sweetest day. Thank you very much, Debbie. At least that way with Pink Fresh watching. Whew, we got some orders come in, so we're like, yay. Uh, makes them happy as well, too. So stamp, die, stencil, but not the foil. You got it. All right. So then we've got have the best birthday. I'm going to flip it over, and you can kind of see your different balloons. So again, your balloons, you could color these with colored pencils if you want. Shoot, you could even go back old school and stamp this on different colors of paper, cardstock, printed paper, and then fussy cut them out and layer them that way to do something kind of fun as well. Or you can just use the stencil. Love these stencils. So with this one here, you're gonna get six layers again. So you're gonna be able to do all the balloons, the streamers, the flowers. We've got all those in there. And then whenever you're done, you can cut it out with a matching die. And this also will cut your verbiage as well too. All right, so that one there is ribbons and balloons. There's that one. Move into the side there. And then the last one I see that I've got in here. There we go. This one here is called With Love. And With Love is a stamp, die, and stencil combination as well. So let's look at the stamp first. We've got some beautiful flowers on here, some greenery, looks like eucalyptus almost. And then sentiments, we've got hello friend, congratulations, happy birthday, let's celebrate your special day. Thank you, make a wish for you, heartfelt thoughts, best wishes and with love. And I love those just delicate little scripts there. I really like that touch. And I'm gonna flip it over so you can kind of see the back here with everything colored in. You did miss the rosette set. Yes, I started with that one, Sharon, because the rosette was my favorite. Um, but yes, I will show it to you really quickly. We won't go back through it, but there's the rosette die, and then there's the rosette stencil. And if you've seen the sneak peeks, it's crazy that the rosette is just a die and a stencil. That's it, nothing else, because it's absolutely beautiful, and it's just two different products. Uh, but yes, we're on our last one now for, for Pink Fresh. So with this guy here, here is the die that matches. 
So we've got the different flowers, we've got that eucalyptus, and then this little tag right there, which is going to fit all those tiny little sentiments in there. And then we've also got the stencil. And look, the stencil even does the, um, it's got a little spot here. Oops, let me get in frame here, Hannah. It's got a little spot up here, kind of out of the way, where you can even do that little label. How cool is that? So this is gonna do your roses, it's gonna do this little flower, and your eucalyptus as well. Yes, Sharon, I agree. The sneak peeks that Pink Fresh has been putting out are so awesome with, with, this, with this release. I really like this one. All right. Okay, friends. So that is our Pink Fresh release. Um, so we've got ribbons and balloons that we showed, the wrap around elements that we showed, showed the rosettes. Um, we did Sweet Day. And then we've got a missing component still coming in, but basic banners. So we've got the dies in for basic banners, but the stamp set did not ship. Uh, but like I said, I've got a couple orders right behind this one. So hopefully it is in one of those. So as you're watching, friends, um, snag, let me know what you would like. And then that way, oh, got it, Miss Becky, adding that to my pile. Let me know what you would like. That way, even if it's already spoken for in this order, like I said, I've got an other order behind it. Um, and then I can add to the one behind that to get stock for the shelf. So, all right. And then stay tuned because what time is it? I'm looking, checking my time here. To, let me see here. Right after this one. So tomorrow morning, let's do our Glimmer Live bundle. Okay. Whether you can make it there with me or not. I guess I could do this instead of just looking at the table. Um, so I can get going to get on the road because we need to leave at five to get down to Gibson Southern for the game tonight. And I've got a 15 minute ride home. So I got to get going. Um, so I won't be able to do the Glimmer Live bundle right after this like I was hoping. But let's do that tomorrow. So whether you can join in live or not, just know that tomorrow morning, I am going to go through the Glimmer Live bundle and show you piece by piece everything you're getting in there. And we will talk about that as well. Um, I am out of bundles right now. But... In true Hannah fashion, I have an order coming. Um, and then that way, if I need to real quick, I can put in another order and still get it here by the time the class rolls around. And friends, let's be honest. If you're not planning to join me for the class, you might not be able to actually do it the day of the live. So if you don't need it the day of the live um, and I can still get the kit, it doesn't have to be in your hands on May 13th. I know we like to have things in our hands so we can touch you feely and, and just look at it all. Um, but then that way I can get more kits in. So everyone has taken the class. I've got your stuff here. We are good to go. I got another order coming. Um, but I want to show you that what it all is in that kit tomorrow because it's it's a good kit. Um, and you may just be enticed to join in just for all the goodies and the value that you're getting in that bundle. So, all right, we'll do that tomorrow morning. So until next time, friends, I am Hannah at The Doodle Bug. Um, you can always look us up online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. And you have an amazing week weekend. Oh, you, not weekend yet. It's only Thursday, Hannah. You have an amazing evening. I will see you tomorrow as well um, with some new stuff and then also that Glimmer Bundle uh, reveal. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye.